Hello everyone and welcome to The Negative. Um, today's episode, <clears throat> pardon my voice, I'm a little under the weather, but today's episode we're going to be talking about the Cinestill CS41 developing kit. The following video right after this little intro is um, it's going to be me mixing the kit, talking about best practices for that. Um, this is the second kit I've tried. First I tried the FPP one, which is really great. I highly recommend that one. Only complaint is that the stabilizer since it's a powder kit, leaves a residue at the end, so when the film dries, you're gonna have little streaks on it. Um, I was attracted to this one because it's liquid, so I thought, you know, that could eliminate residue, which it did. I have already tested it, spoiler alert. And um, I think later on, I'll do a little bit of review on this one. But um, yeah, follow along and let's go mix the chemistry for the CS41 developing kit. All right, what's up guys, and welcome to today's video. This is my film processing area, aka the bathroom. Got the tripod set up for the DSLR, which I'm gonna throw on here in a second, but for the mobile stuff, I'm gonna shoot this on my phone. So, today's video is gonna be a Cinestill CS41 developing kit video, and also I'm gonna develop some film that I need to get done. So here's my film developing setup. I got the stock pot here, heating up some distilled water, which is almost at temperature, and I'm using the Anova sous vide cooker to heat up the water bath. And I found that these, if you go to like your local Sprouts or whatever you have, Trader Joe's, I believe you'll find these. I got these at Sprouts, so these are amber bottles, which are one quart size, which I believe is is the um, it's about the one liter size. So <clears throat> going forward, sorry, I'm a little under the weather, so. Excuse that, but um, going forward, I'm going to be using the metric um, measurements, not not ounces or anything like that. I'm going to be doing Celsius and milliliters and all that stuff. So yeah, you buy these cold brew bottles, and they're perfect for your chemistry because they're amber and they're one liter size. So that's what I'll be using for the chemistry. Okay. So I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a little bit difficult to do this here in the bathroom as far as space and everything, but that's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to get right into the developing. The water is about at temperature. Got the distilled water here in the water bath heating up and our chemicals right down here. We're going to start making the solutions. Okay, following the instructions here, I'm going to start with the developer, and we will need, this is the one quart size, right here, or one liter, so we will need 591 milliliters of water, so pretty much 600. really helps to have a large funnel. I got this one at B&H. I'm going to rinse the funnel real quick. I'm going to get our, graduated, our graduate here pour the water in. I'm going to get the film out of the way first since we're not going to be developing it, we're just mixing the chemistry. So here we go, 591 milliliters of water, which is going to be just under the 600. One thing I forgot to mention is you should have a stirring paddle, which I will go grab. So this was also purchased through B&H, which is to stir this stuff up. So I'll be using that. I'm going to rinse it first. Okay, so the water is going to graduate. <clears throat> consult the instructions. Place the recommended amount of water into a clean glass or plastic container. While stirring, add the contents of the bottle marked Developer Part A. Stir well. So we got that one right here. 
I'm just going to give this a couple of turns because it's been sitting for a while. And so once I have all these in there, it should be at the final amount of solution, which is going to be about one liter. These do have a little foil thing on top. Fuck. We'll go grab a knife. Contents marked developer part B. Looks like it's going to be about the same throughout, so let's just carry on. Same thing for part C. Ooh. This one looks like the foil was kind of dissolved already. So I hope it's still good. for the developer, so that should be ready to go right here into the bottle. <clears throat> Get a nice stir. Press the paddle, and I'm going to pour this in there. the container. <clears throat> Set this aside. And rinse the funnel. <clears throat> okay, so the developer's done, so I'm gonna put that out of the way so I don't get it mixed up with the other stuff. It's nice and clear too. You can see that. Okay, carrying on with the Blix, which is the bleach fix. So it's going to be another, actually this one's 532 milliliters, so we'll start with that. how exact these measurements are. I'm kind of eyeballing because they're a little bit weird. It's not like 550 or even numbers. It's like random. So that's as close as I think it's going to be to 532. So we'll just stick with that. <clears throat> okay, so while stirring at the contents of the bottle marked Blake's part A, stir well. So same thing as the developer. I'm just going to carry on with these. I 
Make sure you pay attention to what you grab. They usually go from, it looks like from big to small, and they're actually, each one looks pretty different from the other, so it's a little helpful. Okay, so bleach fixer part A. Carry on with carrying on with part B. Finally, part C. This one's all set. So I'm going to throw this one in its, its bottle. Put a funnel on to make this a lot easier. The good thing about having a large funnel like this is you can actually pour a lot and it won't overflow. So that one's done. Shake it off and then rinse the funnel. Put this aside. Now I'm actually going to throw these back in to the water bath here in a little bit because I'm going to develop some film. But for the sake of right now, it's going to put this away. Okay, last but not least is the stabilizer, so let's see what that one takes to get mixed together. So, place the recommended amount of water into a clean glass, same thing. So this one is pretty much the majority of the water and then just this little bottle here is going to be the rest of the solution to make that stabilizer. So, let's do that. It's going to be 887 milliliters of water. I'm going to leave the jug out because I don't need this anymore. The chemistry is pretty much mixed. So we're going to throw this in there. Cinestill, if you guys end up watching this, it would be really helpful if you guys could put like a little extra piece, like a little tab, so you can grab and just tear this off. Because it's a little bit hard to grab. Oh, actually I got it. Spoke too soon. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so 
So that's mixed. I'm going to throw this in the final bottle here. And yep, right about 950 milliliters. So pretty much the one liter size. Fits very well in a one liter container. I actually think if you put the whole 1,000 milliliters, it'll overflow. Oh shit, which I'm doing right now. The stabilizer is, is like kind of like a detergent, so it does foam up a little bit, so watch out for that. But that's an easy fix. I'm just going to rinse this off. And it fits nicely, not overflowing, if you can see there. I'm going to wipe this off and then come right back. Alright, so there you have it. We pretty much mixed all the chemistry there and that's how easy it is to mix up your Cinestill CS41 developer kit.